If this works, we're gonna drop a full design spec. It's a big deal. And Chat GPT, take that. But what if it doesn't? Put it into a program and run it. We're gonna find out in a second. Let's see what happens when you give AI a real challenge. When we build something serious, we don't start by just diving in. Not a prompt, and not some basic code generation, but an actual design spec. The kind developers rely on to build complex systems. Every day. Most people just feed AI a question and get a quick answer and call it a day. But can it handle something structured, something detailed? That's what I want to find out today. For nearly 30 years, I've worked with developers across the globe. We start with this, a design spec. So stick around because in just a moment, I'm going to show you whether this AI really gets it or if it's just pretending. Let's get to it. All right, so we got environments ready. We're using the locals. A new WordPress environment and we're going to use Visual Studio code go to our plugins folder because we're going to make this as a plugin and we're just going to go to ChatGPT and we're going to just go ahead and put the prompt here and we're just going to make it real simple create this PHP WordPress plugin based on the following design document All right, it's in there. Yep, it's all there. Here come the results. Okay, so it's giving us a table of contents. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Okay, it's plugin setup. Okay, here we can see all the code, key scripts, styles, assets. Uh, Ajax requests. Okay, so it looks like it's all here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to follow the instructions just like it says in the document. Okay, so we got our entire document loaded in. All right, so here's our plugin. And we're going to say the main plugin folder is going to be create a folder named Messenger AI Chatbot in the WP Content Plugins folder. WP content, plugins, new folder. There's our Messenger AI chatbot folder. So for those that want the code, I'll leave a link to the file and the code in the description so you can test this for yourself. Okay, so our main file is gonna be here. It's Messenger AI chatbot php i copy it this way make sure there's no mistakes okay i'm going to copy that code all right save that go to our next style sheet style.css in the plugin folder we say new New file, be the name. Of course, we you know what that is. New file, style.css. And we're going to copy the style sheet, style sheet for our plugin, and continue. JavaScript messenger.js says create a file named messenger.js in the plugin folder and paste the following code. Okay, so we're going to create a file, new file, messenger.js. Okay, and the code it wants pasted is this. Copy the code. All right, so what's left? Okay, an icon to where they want it to be. So it's send icon. Include an image file named send icon in the plugin folder. You can use paper airplane. Okay, so in the plugin folder, I'm just going to drag this over to that plugin folder. Okay, so there's our send icon. 
install the plugin. Okay, I go to our locals, our local sites. Okay, then go to plugins, install plugins. All right, and here it is. <laughs> Looks like they put my name in it <laughs> and everything. So, so let's activate it, see if it works. Okay, here's the menu. So, okay, so it created a menu, Messenger AI Chatbot. So let's click that menu and what do we get? Okay, the open AI key. Let's see if I type that in. Okay, great. So it hides the key. Okay, you're gonna paste our open AI key. And we're gonna save changes. Okay, it's still working. Okay, it looks like those changes were saved. Let's go back to our instructions. All right, activate the plugin, configure open AI key. We did that, click save changes, embed the chat bot. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create our page for this chat bot. So we're gonna go inside and create us a post. Add a new post. We're just gonna paste this in here and say publish. And before we take a look to see if this is all working, we're gonna make sure there's no other instructions that were left. Okay, publish. Okay, it's telling us the features. Features, so it should replicate Facebook Messenger, chat bubble style like Messenger, typing indicators, a send button with an icon, responsive design for desktop and mobile, uh, using GPT-4 integration, real-time AI responses powered by GPT-4, secure API key and storage and usage, so we set that up. Okay, any notes, future enhancements, we won't focus on that. We just wanna see if ChatGPT can get this thing working right out of the box. View posts, here we go. Okay, what we got here. All right, we got something interesting here. Okay, let's take a look. Hello, there are, I am testing you to see if you are working. Let's press a little icon. AI is typing. Hello, I'm here and ready to assist you. How can I help you today? That's very interesting. Who are you? I'm opening eyes. All right. It looks to be working. Um, I think in the instructions it said use GPT-4. Uh, right now it's saying that it, it's a model known as GPT-3. Uh, but this looks to be uh, working right out of the box. Um, no alterations, no code edits. And all I did was give it a, a, a complete design document and it created all the code for me and, and I didn't have to do anything except put the code in the files and name the files and that's it. So, um, so yeah, so for this, uh, I had to give it two thumbs up because uh, that's good. <laughs> it's, it's not too often where I would get uh, code from developers that uh, came back that just worked. So it's not, uh, see if I could, what version of I, okay, well, this looks to be good. Let's ask it a question. Um, what year is this? Okay, 
Let's see. Um, what year was President Trump elected? Two thousand sixteen. Okay. All right. So we're getting some screen issues there, but uh, this looks to be this looks to be working. Let's see if it holds state. Okay, doesn't hold state. Let's see if it's holding in memory. Okay, so it didn't handle memory. So the memory would need to be handled so that it understands uh, where things are and, and maintains state. There's a, a couple of ways you can do that. But uh, but this looks good. So I guess uh, uh, that's a wrap, guys. So I guess I would need to test this uh, same method on some more of these uh, platforms and maybe on ChatGPT. Oh, one, uh, maybe I need to try something a little bit more difficult because this seems like it was too easy. But uh, there's some other platforms that I've tried this on already and it didn't go so well. <laughs> so, so this is good and we'll do it again. Take care, guys.